dudes and dudettes finally had some news i know usc had the bye week but had the chargers beating the raiders 26 to 10 should have probably been 26 to 3 if not less but they gave the raiders that touchdown even though everybody on that left side even the receivers were moving i don't know how they let that go stupid referees but i guess we'll take that w at least we're on the right track and then also usc got a commitment from a four-star cornerback in Max Williams. I did not know that he injured his leg. They didn't, I don't know, there's two reports saying it was a broken leg or it was an ACL. But either way, I'm pretty sure he was going to redshirt his first year anyways. So this just gives him basically two years to get 100% healthy, which is great for him. I'm glad he picked USC. He was part of my video of high school kids that coming out that I wanted to get to USC. So that's awesome. At least we got one of those guys. And then also the Duke Duke sorry Duke Blue Devils got a commitment today for next year in Wendell Moore. He's one of the first guys since one of the other guys decided to come and join the 2018 class. But he's a five-star small forward, so it's great to have any type of guy that's a five-star. You know, Duke is just getting him again, which is pretty crazy. I'm happy for that. And then also Bubba Bolden, we finally. Found out the news about the safety at USC where he's officially not on the roster anymore and he's not even enrolled at USC. Don't get the full description as to why, but at least we know officially that he is not there. It just sucks. He has a lot of talent. Don't know what he's going to do. Don't even know where he's going to go, but good luck to him, I guess. And then some pretty sad news for ex-USC defensive back Kevin Ellison, who was actually drafted when he came out in the sixth round by the Chargers. He actually, he sadly passed away over the weekend. They said it was like somewhere on the freeway, somewhere in LA. They don't really have a lot of the news as to what happened. I'm sure um, once more news comes out, we'll, we'll be able to tell you what happened. But as of right now, it's a mystery, which kind of sucks. But yeah, let's keep on going. it was Friday, happened a bit ago, that the Ducks got their second win of the season, so they're 2-0. It was against Arizona. I believe it was 1-0. Great to see. I guess we shouldn't get too excited. It's still pretty early in the season, but hey, 2-0 is 2-0, so I'm happy about that. <laughs> and actually, during that Chargers game, uh, Corey Legit, the defensive tackle, did was on the 53-man roster, so they did have to let go of T.Y. McGill, another defensive tackle. But I mean, for the most part, he didn't really make a difference. He kind of thought he would, but he does look a bit different as far as size-wise. He does look a lot smaller, and I don't know if because the stuff that the guy was giving him just isn't really working anymore, so he's not at the spot that he was before all that stuff happened, but I guess you can tell there's a difference. Hopefully, he can get better. And there's a report saying that Anthony Davis is interested very highly on the Lakers or any eastern teams but I kind of think it's he's going for the big shot with the Lakers to try to play with LeBron for sorry LeBron the next three to four years whether it's sooner or later but I don't know I think he just wants to also choose the east team because in this way he's number he's basically going to be the top player in the weaker conference so he doesn't have to go through all the great teams in the west and then he's able to get you know MVP type of numbers and probably lead a team to the finals in the east and pretty sure that's really kind of what he's only eyeing on other than wanting to play with LeBron hopefully that can happen but you never know we'll see then there was a like a survey going around of <clears throat> GMs in the NBA saying if the NBA draft for today who would get draft number one and of course it's Duke's shooting guard RJ Barrett just has a lot of potential I think he's the next coming of Kobe and Michael Jordan but hey that's just me we'll see what happens in the next 10 years but definitely looks uh, pretty positive for him as you can tell by the comments LeBron just when him talking about Brandon Ingram he just says wow and they're saying that Brandon Ingram could be a rising star we just hope that's what happens because I'm pretty sure if not then by next year they will make a trade because 
by then they would have signed somebody in free agency during that summer and then they'll be able to make a trade with their Brandon Ingram type because I'm pretty sure you get a solid guy out there whoever's available but at least it's going in the right direction and LeBron actually likes playing with them and they look really well when they play together so hopefully he can stay. Grayson Allen, I believe he had 19 points again, only a few quarters and a lot of threes again, and that nice dunk right there on that picture, but just looks like he's going to be one of the top six men in the NBA, probably with playing alongside Crowder, so we'll see how they play well together once the season starts. And then also we have the Lakers making a few roster moves, Joel Berry, the guy from North Carolina, the rookie, and the other rookie out of Texas Tech, I believe it was, Jeffrey Carroll. They both have been waived. I don't know if that means they're going to play with the defenders, which is the Lakers, like, D-League team or G-League now. But who knows? I think that's why they waived them, because there probably wasn't enough of a roster spot even on those teams for them. I guess that's what you get for going to North Carolina. But, hey, we'll give you a shot. Too bad you didn't make it, hopefully. They have some career down the line if some other team could pick them up. And of course, after I did that video of ex-USC players uh, that left the team, whether they want to transferred or they got kicked off because of misdemeanors and all this stuff and legal issues, but a guy who left the team just because he didn't know if he was still going to play football or not, Kenny Bigelow, defensive tackle. I forgot he did sign with West Virginia, who's undefeated right now, and I believe they're the number six team in the nation. And he just had... A lot of love for all the guys he's playing with and I'm pretty sure the reason why they're still undefeated is because of him because he's actually performing really well for them which sucks but there you go that's life so I had to get over it and then the USC women's soccer team did get a W against ASU three to one good for them and then the men's water polo team went like I think they won 15 to 6 over San Jose State so luckily we got wins there let's keep it going Thanks for watching people, like and subscribe, comment down below, let me know what y'all think. These videos might be a little bit more scattered since <clears throat> I am going to start working for Amazon, a third party uh, company and doing delivery for them. So yeah, today was my first day, like an orientation type of thing and I'm pretty sure the next few days is going to be that and you know going in with the, another driver a few days after this and <clears throat> doing like a ride along with them, see what I could do. But it's pretty exciting, very happy. Thanks for watching, like I said. <laughs> like and subscribe, comment down below. Have a great rest of your day.